It seems like every other day this year, we're talking about more and more layoffs in the gaming industry. And this does come from many reasons, but I believe the main one is from overspending in a wide variety of areas. And now today, that brings us to the next wave of layoffs coming to Activision Blizzard. So Activision Blizzard is set to lay off hundreds of employees in the Irvine and Santa Monica starting next month. Video game giant Activision Blizzard will start laying off employees at next month and its parent company Microsoft looks to cut costs in the gaming division. And now let's do keep in mind that they recently spent close to $70 billion in order to acquire Activision Blizzard. And part of this whole FTC drama that went down with that buyout was they said, hey, we're not going to start firing people. Well, that turned out to be a total fucking lie because I believe it was in February there was close to 2,000 two sorry jobs lost and then... It's just been a trickling thing throughout the whole year, and now here we are with the next round of layoffs. But one thing I do want to mention with this whole FTC drama is, yeah, I get it, they have a hate boner for Microsoft. However, where were they very recently when PlayStation said that they'll be upping the price of Horizon Zero Dawn just before the remaster? The Santa Monica-based video game maker notified about 400 employees of the layoffs on September 12th. By the end of the year, 140 employees will be cut from the facility and 110 will be laid off at a Santa Monica location, according to the state notified filed by Activision Blizzard. Additionally, the company's Play Vista location will begin layoffs in November and a cut of total 143 employees by the end of the year, according to a separate notice. The Activision Blizzard layoffs are part of Microsoft's move to cut 3% of its global gaming employees, or roughly 650 employees. Microsoft completed the acquisition of Activision Blizzard last year after much scrutiny by antitrust regulators. The $69 billion is the largest deal in the video gaming history. All right, now this is wild because the one probably most affected by this is Overwatch. And it's wild to say, but it does look like Overwatch is actually having a little bit of a bounce back. Now, I do believe that it's just mainly due to collaborations. In fact, you can see the most recent collaboration is My Hero Academia, which has been received very positively. Except for that Deku is never going to beat the Twink accusations now, is he? So all I can wonder is what will be the next round of layoffs from Activision Blizzard and when will it happen? Because let's face it, it's 2024, the AAA industry is bursting, and I for one, I'm actually a little bit excited about this. I do agree though that sometimes when these firings happen, no, every time when these firings happen, unfortunately there's people that get caught in the crossfire that are just, you know, don't have anything to do with all the bullshit that's going on. But that's all down to horrible leadership, which is something we've seen for many years now, and it's finally starting to bear the consequences. So we're going to have to keep an eye on how this one all plays out. Make sure you subscribe to Gronk and Gaming, and we'll keep you up to date with the gaming news.